without without any further ado, I I, I want to get into what's going on with uh with my channel, what's going on with the with the content that I'm about to be creating, and how things are um changing, right? Because my schedule is changing. Um, the consistency at, 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 at how much I'm going to be putting uh, content out there is also going to change. Uh, so all these things are going to be changing. So let's let's the, the goal of my channel, as as it has been, I'm sure you guys can hear uh, the the dog in the background there. <laughs> uh, that's Lucky. Lucky says hello. Uh, but the goal of this channel it, it has always been, uh, and now I think I'm kind of doubling down on it, maybe tripling down on it, maybe quadrupling down on it. There's there's a lot of downing um, on this channel, but the goal of this this channel is to have a a po political education focus uh, using comedy storytelling and essayistic formats to deliver the message. I wrote that down because I I I figured I needed a way to tell people what the fuck I do um, without just being like I do comedy and I yell at people about the way that we're all fucked for money. Uh, as so, so I, I'm, I'm basically a whore and a downer all at the same time. Uh, and I felt like that was kind of off putting and didn't really help get people <laughs> over to my channel. So, uh, the goal of the, uh, the, the goal of the channel is, is political education, right? Uh, political and history education with comedy storytelling in an essayistic format to deliver the message. That's clean and concise. That's the best way I can fucking put it. So I'm going to be putting out some consistent um, consistent content, right? Uh, this podcast, Taboo Table Talk, is going to be one of those consistent content. So uh, every Thursday, I will be putting out a the interview episodes. And these are only going to be the interview episodes um, and, uh, you know, and, and then at the end of the, end of the, the podcast, much like this is, is going to be, uh, either discussing something that, uh, just, I need, I feel like I need to rant about or a mental health update or, uh, you know, just a life update in general. Um, or, or I can tell a story about the, about the guest, uh, something along those lines. So th those are kind of the things that are good, but the primary goal of, of taboo table talk the main episode of taboo table talk that will be coming out consistently um is the interviews is to is to bring uh you know guests and people and perspectives and stories that you won't hear on corporate media that's been the goal of this podcast from the very beginning and that's going to continue to be the goal of this podcast um but also to have some panel discussions as well uh, on on some bigger topics so so expect that to be a part of the the uh the po the podcast as well uh, Forkful of Noodles, I'm going to release those weekly on Monday, but they are all going to be recorded uh, by a Zoom in front of a live virtual audience. So if you want to be a part of those shows, I've got a couple of them already coming up. I've got uh, the I've got two more coming up for the year uh, on November 19th and December 17th. So um, if you're if you're interested in being a part of the audience um, and and watching the the entire Forkful of Noodles. Uh, then that is that is the way to go, uh, and you can grab those tickets directly off of my website at krishmohanhaha dot com. Um, and uh, what what comes out of that is uh, you know the the show usually runs between sixty and ninety minutes depending on the topic, and then I kind of break them down um, into sections. And it, so sometimes it'll be four parts, three parts, two parts, five parts, whatever. Right? It'll be kind of broken down into, into some parts. Um, and then released every Monday. Like I said, it'll be, it, it comes out every Monday and then there will be exclusive content. Cause sometimes I will have special guests kicking off the show. Like, uh, Eleanor Goldfield has, has kicked off the show. Jesse Jett has kicked off the show. I've, I've had, uh, some comedians, uh, do, do opening sets, um, as well. Um, and uh, usually they will be on the 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 recording of the shows will be on the last Friday of every month. Um, usually, uh, sometimes uh, such as uh, this month and next month, uh, they are not on the last Friday because of holidays. So so holidays are going to fuck with that schedule a little bit. But that but that's why it's important to uh, pay attention to this stuff. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you're following me on social media and have those alerts activated. I know this shit is annoying, and it's annoying to me too. 
Um, but unfortunately, with the way that you know um, uh, YouTube and 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 all of these other kind of big mainstream outlets work, you you you, you kind of need to have all of those things. So um, forkful of noodles, weekly content uh, plus monthly live virtual shows, um, and then some exclusive content that comes out of that as well. Uh, the other thing is going to be the road reflection live streams. One to two times a month is all I'm going to be doing. And they're going to be larger kind of two, two and a half hour live streams talking about a bunch of different topics. We're, we're going to go three to five. We're going to go roughly three to five topics. Um, and they'll be kind of like the live streams that I was doing. Uh, when I did uh, Bitch with Comrade Misty, if you, if, if you caught that, we talked about my release schedule, um, you know, for, for, for this year, which was roughly 14 videos in a week. Um, I'm, I, and I was writing, I was writing a one new piece every week. I was writing forkful of noodles every month. I was doing three live streams a week, um, clip and then clipping them, you know, into, into sections and then putting them out there. And that's a lot. So that's why I was, I decided one to two times a month on Fridays, um, I will do one live stream, but do a long live stream and, it, and it's kind of the same format of 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 the live stream it's it's going to be talking about the story and then seeing what comments you guys have and kind of having a little bit of a post post segment discussion there as well so that so the the next one is going to be tomorrow uh, november 12th we're going to be doing uh doing a live stream we're, we've got a bunch of topics that i'm excited to share with you guys and discuss and 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 take a deep dive um, and point out how ridiculous it is that we're that this is our reality, uh, <laughs> as I do with this content. And the last bit of consistent um, consistent content that's going to be coming out are the patron exclusives. If you are a sustaining member, uh, then you know that you get an email once a month with your exclusive content. Um, that is exclusive stand-up storytelling content. You got uh, bonus videos that aren't available anywhere else. Uh, you've got uh, special merch that I'm going to be working on. Uh, I'm thinking of a couple other things that I'm going to be, I'm going to try to do for my sustaining members members as well. But those stand-up clips, uh, those audios or, or or videos, depending on um, depending on, on 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 how I was able to record the the set and all that. Uh, will be will be released as well. So those are going to be the consistent things. Uh, now the rest of the stuff I'm going to talk about are basically the varying stuff. And what that means is uh, these have no set release schedule. Like Forkful of Noodles comes out every Monday. Taboo Table Talk comes out every Thursday. Road Reflections twice a month on Fridays. These don't have that kind of a release schedule. The reason for that is because um, I was putting a lot of pressure on myself, stressing myself out, which is what led to the burnout, based on the schedule that I had set for myself. And I want to have a little bit of variety in the type of stuff that I do and the type of content that I release and the subject matter that, uh, that I uh, talk about, right? And uh, this allows me to do that. This allows me to also have a little bit of a relaxed schedule and not burn out and go, you know, two, three months without putting out content because I'm, I'm just, my, my brain just can't fucking do it. Um, and I'm still kind of combating that a little bit. If I'm being honest, you know, is, is re reframing my brain to, to basically think that I'm not putting out content for the sake of putting out content, because that's kind of the thing that happened. Um, so the first thing is the road reflection shorts. These are, uh, these are kind of like the thing that I would do in my car. I would just kind of pick a topic and, and talk about it for 10 to 20 minutes, something like that. And it's just, it's just riffing on my notes, riffing on, uh, on some jokes and stuff that I've written. Um, uh, and I can do a couple of these in a week if, if, if that's what my, uh, schedule allows, if the, if, if the stories that, uh, I have selected, um, you know, are, are interesting. I can do them two to three times a week. Uh, and and usually try to release them at Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday. Um, although, uh, again, it's like that's not particularly the 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 schedule I would be stick, sticking to. It's just likely those are the days that I will be putting that putting out that content. The next one um, are forkful reviews. Uh, I have wanted to do 
you know, somewhat in-depth reviews of TV shows, of uh, particular episodes of TV shows, uh, stand-up specials, movies, songs, albums, comic books, and and and, and there's a lot of review stuff out there. But I want to have a specific focus on um, how pop culture media, uh, you know, uh, addresses major sociopolitical topics and themes. Um, and, you know, uh, these will only be released on Rockfin Od Odyssey uh, and the audio version, and then they'll be put up on my website because of copyright issues. I can't put these up on YouTube because my channel will get deleted. Uh, and I don't want that to happen because I have a lot of shit on my channel that I like and, and you know, can can uh, source from and, and write new material and, and all that kind of shit. So, so I, I don't want to lose my channel, y'all. So um, the Forkful Reviews will be exclusive on Rockfin, Odyssey, and the audio as well. So so uh, if you are somebody that only follows my shit on YouTube, um, I, would, uh, I would very, very much recommend that uh, you uh, also join Rockfin or Odyssey or subscribe to my uh, audio podcast as well. So, so, so that way you won't miss out on on the reviews. And this is if you're interested in, in, in hearing what I have to say about uh, sociopolitical topics in pop culture. Uh, but again, this is also no particular day of the week, no schedule, uh, because I'm going to have to like take clips. I'm going to write these out, right? I'm going to write, I'm going to, I'm going to actually have a script that I'm going to be looking at and reading from or an outline that I, so that I'm not, I'm not kind of just meandering all around. I have my points concise and put together and, and it allows me to write, uh, material jokes and, and comedy, you know, so, 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 you know, it, it'll help me be a little bit more organized and it will help me communicate my points a lot clearly if I have them written. Um, so this will take a little bit of time to do. Plus if I'm getting clips, right. Uh, there, there is a very particular way that I would have to get these clips. Um, to, to show particular as examples, right? I, I, why spend my time describing to you a scene from Cowboy Bebop when I can just take the minute or two to show you what the scene is and then do a breakdown of that scene? Um, so that's something I want to do for full reviews. Uh, the dispatches, you guys know what the dispatches are, especially if you listen to this podcast. They are the uh, current event stories that I try to relate to a bigger topic at hand. Sometimes they're just about the bigger topics at hand. <laughs> uh, usually are, are going to get released on Fridays as a, as a as a second bonus episode of Taboo Table Talk. And these go from like 10 to 40 minutes, depending on the topic. But these are not going to be every Friday. They will be released on Fridays, but not every Friday, you know, um, because uh, it's just it's it's going to be too much. And I feel like if I'm going to do. If I'm going to release a piece that I'm proud of and this started happening to me earlier this year, uh, and I think it's part of the reason why it led to that burnout is there were certain pieces that I put out that I thought, man, if I had a little bit more time. If I wasn't, if I wasn't pressed on time, if I didn't put this schedule and restriction on myself, I could probably write a much stronger piece about so and so topic. I definitely felt like I was rushing it at certain points. Um, so this now gives me that opportunity. It gives me the opportunity to spend my time researching, thinking, and articulating my points of view through comedy in a much more clear and concise way. Uh, I'm also going to be doing more essays and true stories, right? Uh, those will be released to my email list. So if you're not on my email list uh, and you want to get these essays and true stories first, uh, joining the email list is going to be the, the the easiest way to get them. They will be released on my website uh, either the following Monday or Tuesday. Uh, but these are, you know, as I just wrote one on grief uh, earlier. I wrote one about uh, mental health being addressed in the mainstream. Uh, it, it, it's now become an unignorable topic. So essays like that and then true stories, which are usually going to be road stories, are going to be ridiculous kind of experiences I've had as a touring comedian. 
Um, so those those will again the email list is the first people to get them, and then I will release them publicly on Rockfin and my website and all that sort of stuff. And they'll probably end up on RadIndieMedia.com as well, depending on the the topic and the and all that sort of stuff, right? Uh, and then I want to do forkful media literacy uh, critiques, right? Uh, and, and basically, media literacy and media criticism is, is sort of the thing, and and that is something that I think um, is is uh, sorely lacking. In, in our society is we just don't understand how American media, especially cor- particularly corporate media, not especially, but particularly corporate media is propaganda um, and learning how to decipher that and learning how to, how, how they, they use certain language to uh, kind of trick you into, into believing certain things, believing their narrative and, and making enemies out of people that are actually revealing important information, uh, such as what they've done to someone like Julian Assange. Uh, you know, I, I think that that is a skill that's sorely lacking. So what part of this is going to be kind of looking at a particular topic, let's say some, someone like Julian Assange, um, and looking at how it's accurately covered by independent journalists and, and comedians, uh, and how, uh, corporate media portrays it and and what they do right uh, so so again these are going to be pr- pretty much written pieces there might be a little bit of ad libbing here and there f- uh, on these but it's going to be looking at articles looking at phrasing looking at framing and that sort of stuff um and just kind of pointing out like hey this is how the story was distorted by corporate media in order to serve a particular agenda that they have or to help a, a particular donors or to help particular candidates and so on and so forth uh, the last thing uh, I want to do, and this is going to be quite the endeavor, because I've never done something like this, but I've always kind of wanted to, is to write short stories, uh, fictionalized accounts based on real life experiences, right? Uh, and and I get to take some creative liberties on how I like to how I want to build these stories and all that, um, and then just short stories in general, right? Most of them are going to be fictionalized experiences of of what I've been through. Uh, and sometimes they'll just be kind of a fucking short story that I came up with. You know, something popped into my head and I'll go, oh, that'll be an interesting fucking narrative to see and then play that out. These will probably take quite some time. Um, so don't expect me to write a short story and have it up on my e- and these, Again, these, these are going to go to my email list first and then um, released out to the public. Uh, you know, the following Monday or Tuesday, depending on it. But don't expect the short stories to be coming out next week or nothing. It's gonna take me a little while. I'm, I'm, I've never written a short story before. Um, it's not particularly my wheelhouse, but it's something that I've always wanted to do. Um, and and I think this would be a good way to kind of maybe get that out in a book because there there are gonna be a lot of my life experiences, a lot of socio political dynamics to 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 be thrown in there and um. You know, yeah, and I I get to just kind of have fun with it and see where see where it goes. So that's it. Those are the those are the things that are coming up uh, on my channel. Uh, That's the way I'm going to be releasing my content. So what's the best way to know when I'm going to be putting out content? Uh, Like I mentioned, the email list is going to be the top choice because every Sunday I send out an email. Uh, basically with a list of all of the content that I have put out that week. Um, So that way you will never miss it. And the essays and the short stories are going to be released on the email list first. What is the email list link, Krish? It's krishmohanhaha.substack.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.substack.com. It's free. It's free to join that, but if but there is a paid version, uh, m- m- meaning you can become a sustaining member directly off the email list and not have to go through two or three different rigmaroles. Uh, so there's that. Uh, following me on social media and making sure that you have alerts turned on. So when I tweet something, when I put something on Instagram or Facebook or something, then you, that you are alerted that I have done so because they uh, they love to fucking censor the shit out of my stuff. Um, you can subscribe to my Rockfin and or my Odyssey page. I'll be putting up a lot because especially for those forkful reviews, that's where you're going to have to go to get those. Um, and last but not least, you can subscribe to my YouTube and make sure you have alerts turned on for my channel. But my YouTube is heavily suppressed. 
So even if you have alerts turned on, there's no particular way that you would know uh, that I might have released a video or something, right? Uh, very good chance that that might not happen. But uh, those are the ways to do it. Uh, like I said, the email list is probably top on that thing because I will also mention on Sundays when I'm going to be doing a live stream. Um, so you can kind of put that in your calendar or, uh, or, or, or whatever, or however you, uh, you choose to, uh, you know, uh, notify yourself that things are happening. Um, so yeah, those are the ways to do it. Uh, you can also go to my website, subscribe there, uh, and, and get alerts from, from my website when I put out new content. Um, again, that is krishmohanhaha.com, K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Uh, so there's a bunch of stuff coming up. I'm very excited to be back. Uh, I'm very excited to be creating content at a much better pace that will probably lead to less burnout. Um, you know, the realization of, of, of saying, well, I'm one person and, you know, if I cover two or three stories in a week, that is more than enough. I don't need to cover 12 um, and tap myself out and then, and then kind of go MIA for three months because I, i I literally don't have the mental capacity to keep up with any of the shit that I would like to keep up with. So, uh, that's the goal. That's, that's the way that I'm going to kind of operate. Uh, I hope that you guys will come along for the ride. I hope you guys will come along for the journey. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys for, for, for sticking with me, being patient and ho ho hopefully, you know, you, you guys have been anticipating this episode, uh, for, for a little while and, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you guys very much. Um, but, uh, till next week, till next week, be good to yourselves, be good to each other and stay taboo. Everybody take it easy.